you got a fucking problem, bro. And your problem is that you can't put things into perspective. Just like a lot of other young men today, we have an inability to put things into perspective. And we, we were, we're not able to bounce back from an L. That's what keeps tripping you up. That's why you never make sustained progress. That's why you're on and off from the gym. That's why you're on and off with your diet. That's why you're on and off with your purpose. Because you don't really want it. You just want the feeling of it. You don't really want it. You just want the feeling of being able to say you did something. You just want to be able to stroke your own ego. You're not really willing to put in the work. You're not really willing to accept the challenge. You're not really willing to put things into perspective and be objective. That's our problem nowadays. That's why we can't stay consistent with anything. That's why guys talk about it so hard. It's so hard to grow a business. It's hard to get in shape. Because every time you slip up, you think it's the end of the fucking world. Every time you eat that fucking Twinkie, now, oh, guess what? I just threw the whole day away. I might as well eat five of them. Oh, now I ruined the day, so I might as well ruin the fucking week. You can't put things into perspective because as men today, we are raised as emotional bitches. We are raised to be soft. We are raised to be feminine. We are raised to be emotionally reactive and not disciplined. We're not taught to be cutthroat because being cutthroat, being um, stoic is masculine. And masculinity is toxic. Being, being objective, looking at things for, from an objective lens is bad. You see a girl with a high body count and you don't want to be with her because of that. You're an asshole. You're a misogynist. You see, you see shit stinks. But if you point out that shit stinks, you're an asshole. Right? Don't speak your mind. Follow the norm. Act out your emotions. This is something I was hearing Andrew Tate talk about. We are taught to act out our emotions as men. Instead of taking a fucking objective lens and moving the fuck on. Bro, you think your problems are so fucking serious like thousands of other people haven't gone through the same exact problem. Like thousands. Look at fucking history, man. And you will find all the answers to your problem. Read some fucking books. I mean, seriously, guys, you just you just want to fucking beat your dick. You just want to stimulate yourself with social media and you want to be emotional. An emotional response to every single thing. Oh, well, Phil, I messed up my diet today and I just wanted to eat five Twinkies. And I, 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 since I had the five Twinkies, I need five more. Man, Finn, I uh, I just had a bad day. So I just jerked off and I just scrolled on my phone for four hours at the end of the day. And then I, and then I, and then I went on three hours of sleep to work the next day. You're taking temporary, you're taking permanent solutions to temporary problems in many cases. You're responding emotionally. That's why we can't ever make sustained progress nowadays. Because making sustained progress requires being objective. Making sustained progress requires being able to recognize your emotions and being able to write them off. That's not real. That's not important to me. That emotion is not going to get me to where I want to be. So why would I let myself experience that? Why would I let it hinder me? 
you're not gonna you're not gonna avoid experiencing it, but what you can do is change your perspective. Change your perspective on the issue. This is no longer a permanent problem. This is a temporary problem. Oh, well, I just got dumped. Guess what? Get back in the fucking gym. Because that pain isn't going to last that long. Oh, well, I have no friends right now. Guess what? Get on the fucking grind. Find your fucking purpose and put in work towards it. Grind your ass off for a year. Go monk mode. I guarantee that it's going to attract some people into your life. I guarantee when you start walking around with that extra confidence because you actually built yourself something and because you actually went against the odds and didn't and didn't be a subject didn't be subject to your emotions. I guarantee you will make something out of yourself. I guarantee that will attract other people by by result. But our problem is we just want to respond to everything emotionally. You fucked up today. You missed your workout. Guess what? Get back on the fucking grind tomorrow. It's not a feel sorry for myself defeatist mentality that a lot of you fucking bitches out there have. And then you just give up. You just give up and then you then you look at people like myself and you make complaints. You make you make you make complaints about why my physique looks good but yours does not. Oh, he's on steroids. He's got great genetics. Oh, well, he had all this food and I didn't, I didn't. Stop making fucking excuses, bro. This last year, I was working 80 hours as a personal trainer. I had no money. I was eating the bare fucking minimum. I was eating chicken and rice. Not grass fed, not organic, guys. I'm eating the frozen bags of shit. And guess what? I made it work. Now I'm in the best fucking shape of my life. But you guys want to ask me, oh, well, Finn, what foods did you eat? Did you eat the grass fed? I don't have access to the grass fed. That's why I'm fat. That's I, I don't have access to these good foods. I, I, I don't have a personal chef. Man, get the fuck out of here. You're stressing about these minor fucking details. And that gets you so caught up in your head that you can't even look at things and take a step back. You just fucked up on your diet, take a step back. Start, try to understand why you fucked up in the first place. You just had a bad day, take a step back. Try to interpret what the fuck just happened to you. Was it something somebody said that set you off? Was it an event? Maybe you just woke up in the morning on the wrong side of the bed. And that just, that just tumbleweeded into the rest of your day. But you got to be able to take a step back and recognize that so that you don't continue to make that same mistake. That's how you fucking learn. That's how you fucking build the physique of your dreams. It's not day one, chicken and rice four times a day. Hit the gym six days a week. No. I'm a trainer. I know this. A lot of my clients worked out with me for four, five, six months. Didn't see a single fucking pound drop with their fat asses. Because it's not a linear process. It's not a fucking linear process. Sometimes you got to let shit click in your fucking brain. 
in your thick fucking skull. You got to wait for shit to fucking click. But if you can never put things in perspective and you just get caught up on all the little errors and all the little mistakes you make, you're never going to fucking grow. But if you're able to put things in perspective and you adapt the mentality that you adapt a growth mindset, what is a growth mindset? It's being able to change your mindset. It's being able to recognize that success and the qualities necessary for success can be obtained. You're not born with them. They could be fucking obtained. With time, with patience. But that's where most people fuck up. They don't want to put in the time. They don't want to put in the work. They don't want to accept reality. They don't want to take the red pill. They would rather live in fucking La La Land. They would rather believe the shit that it's easier for them to believe. The dreams and the lies that they were sold by their parents, that they were sold by society. Because that's the easy way out, right? That's the easy way out to say you're not where you are because of your upbringing or you're not where you are because of your genetics. You're not where you are because of your situation. Rather than to take extreme accountability and being able to accept that and change your perspective on things. But you guys just want to react to everything. You're always playing defense. You're always playing defense with your emotions. Your emotions go one way, you follow it. Instead of saying, fuck that, I'm not playing this game anymore. I'm not taking a Xanax every time I feel anxious. I'm not skipping the gym every time I feel tired. I'm not letting this ruin my day when my fucking employer or my coworker says some slick shit to me. Nope. Not reciprocating it. Yeah, you have a nice day too. But we make every little mistake, we make every little hardship the biggest fucking issue. And then we make fucking fools of ourselves. Nobody wants to be around an emotional man. They provide no value. They're dangerous. Nobody wants to be around that type of guy. So we got to start learning to put things into perspective. Think about it. Is that issue first to recognize what's causing you to feel this way? If you can't even take the step back, you're just full force ahead like a fucking retard. You're never going to be able to identify the things that are hurting you. Once you recognize it, you could say, you could ask yourself this question. Is this going to matter in five minutes? Is this going to matter in five hours? Is this going to matter in five days? Is this going to matter in five weeks? And you respond accordingly. You don't respond according to your emotions. You respond according to logic. That's what's going to keep you going. That's what's going to allow you to bounce back from else. That's what's going to allow you to become cold. That's what's going to allow you to stay on your purpose. That's what's going to allow you to become successful. That's what's going to allow you to build your dream body. 
just got to start being objective and putting things into perspective.